Remember that big problem where nuclear waste is lying around for thousands and thousands of years? At Copenhagen Atomics, we've found a way to burn nuclear waste so that we can get a lot of additional green energy out of it and at the same time reduce the number of years that the nuclear waste needs to be stored from 100,000 years down to 300 years. Our leaders often tell us that we need to invent new technologies to solve the net zero problem. We believe this is the solution. We knew from the very beginning that it wouldn't be possible to solve the nuclear waste problem if we continue to run reactors on enriched uranium. We had to switch to thorium and heavy water. And on top of that, we had to invent a radically new design that consumes nuclear waste while breeding new fuel from thorium, resulting in 100 times less mining. And the fission products that we leave behind is way, way easier to deal with. We've been working on this for the last 10 years. And now we are constructing the first waste burner here in Copenhagen and it's going to be ready for non-radioactive testing here in 2022. We plan to start mass manufacturing these reactors on assembly lines by the 2030s. Each assembly line will be able to deliver a 100 megawatt reactor per day, and no other technology has the potential to provide this amount of green energy. Our reactor fits inside of an airtight sealed box that can be transported on a truck to anywhere in the world and it can be put on land or at sea, and it can even be put on the moon because it can run for five years at a time without needing maintenance or any human intervention. So reactors like this will always need three barriers. The first barrier is where you have the salt contained. So there's 700 degrees hot salt in there, and that needs to be in a protected environment. So that's the first barrier. The second barrier is the steel casing. And that's in case of leakage, that everything is contained inside the second barrier. And then outside of this, you'll need the third barrier. And that's for protecting you and me from radiation exposure, but also to prevent intruders to get close to the reactor. The next step for Copenhagen Atomics is to finish our non-radioactive test reactor this year and then we need to find a country that can post the test of the radioactive version afterwards. Follow our work and stay tuned for more exciting updates from us.